If we break down the age of Pisces into yet another 12 houses of the zodiac, we find that the early Roman Empire's military expansion took place during the sign of Aries, ruled by Mars, the planet of war and proactive physical movement. The Roman Catholic Church evolved and took over from Roman military rule, targeting the subconscious as opposed to physical methods of control. Although Constantine had made Christianity the state religion, it was not formalized until 391 AD when Emperor Theodosius outlawed all forms of heresy and closed all pagan temples. This took place at the start of Cancer on the outer wheel, ruled by the moon, the planet representing the subconscious. This is also a period when monks and monasteries appeared. Just like the Roman military empire, the Holy Roman Empire became a successful business and in order to take care of business, they needed to protect their trade routes and expand into new ones. All areas which had been ruled by Rome adopted the religion of Christianity. As the Roman Catholic Church expanded, pressure built up throughout the Middle East, a strategic place between Europe and Asia. Whoever controlled this region would have a major commercial advantage. During the sign of Leo, a new leader appears, the Prophet Muhammad. He united the Muslims in the Middle East, North Africa and Spain to resist the spread of Roman Catholicism and to promote their version of planetary worship focusing on Venus. While the Muslims worshipped Venus, the Christians focused on Jupiter, the planet of abundance, optimism and expansion. To counteract the organised Muslim threat, which frustrated the Holy Roman Empire's business aspirations, the Pope asked the Order of Solomon's Temple, also known as the Knights Templar, to unite as a military force and take over the Holy Land in the Middle East. The timing of the Crusades was no coincidence. 180 years of fighting during Scorpio on the outer wheel ruled by Mars, the god of war. The Muslims finally put an end to the Templars at the Siege of Acre in 1291. After the fall of Acre, the wealthy business affairs of the Knights Templars came under question. King Philip IV of France and Pope Clement V arranged for the arrest and disbandment of the Order of the Knights Templar. Philip was heavily in debt to the Templars and saw them as a state within a state, a threat to his authority. The Pope also saw no reason for their existence after their final defeat. He also saw them as a potential threat to his business interests and authority. The Templars, after years of service, were rounded up tried for heresy and burnt alive at the stake. Their land and assets were transferred over by the Pope to the Knights Hospitaller. This was followed by Jupiter in Sagittarius with the motto I seek. Paranoid elements within the church, suspicious of the motives behind recent converts, initiated the inquisitions a quest to seek out and destroy the enemy within. Senchor Chiron, the half-man, half-horse archer of Sagittarius, sprang into life, looking for its next target. The Catholic Church went on a manhunt. Anyone found guilty of heresy, a provocative belief or theory which opposed the establishment's adopted belief system, would pay the ultimate price. The expansive nature of Jupiter is reflected within the physical realm of any religion adopting it as their main planet of worship. It's therefore no coincidence to see the Roman Catholic Church becoming the most expansive and dominant of all man's religions. 
The Roman Catholic Church ruthlessly dominated Western Europe until the Reformation in the 16th century. Martin Luther's 1517 work, the 95 Thesis, was credited to have inspired the Reformation. To counteract this, the Jesuit order was founded in 1540 with special vows of obedience and service to the Pope. The Protestant movement was created, protesting against the restrictive rule of the Holy Roman Empire. This came to a head during the Thirty Years' War of 1618. Many people fled Europe for the New World towards the colonies of North America.